Welcome to part two of the sketchbook tour. If you haven't seen part one, you can go watch that over here and I'll have that linked below in the description as well in the show notes. I hope you enjoyed part one, the video before lots of highs and lows in the sketchbook and it's also just a very personal place for me. So I'm excited to show you the end of this one just because the last couple of pages in the sketchbook, I feel like are some of my best. So I'm just excited to show you guys. And uh, before we head into the video, make sure you like and subscribe and you can watch all my other sketchbook stuff me drawing there's lots of arty things going on on this channel so go do that and you can also follow me on instagram if you want to see all the behind the scenes see everything first on insta stories and with that being said let's get into it Okay, you guys, we're back with part two. At this point, I realized like, oh my gosh, I'm almost done with the sketchbook and I've hardly really done the sketchbook and the paper justice. A poor tree died for this. I need to do something good in this sketchbook. I was doing some samples or some swatches for lousy ink, but uh, yeah, doing some samples here and trying to figure out what I was gonna do. In the end, I made that piece over there. Again, usually when I put a sticker over something it's because it's not good oh hang on this page isn't good i just realized <laughs> i just realized this is not a good page after my little spiel about making it making it good i do however really like where i was heading with like these illustrations or like these thumbnail concept sketches i do really like the idea of this like weird ice cream layered girl yeah i liked this idea i was really playing with like discombobulated split heads for a second and then kind of stopped but i would like to go back to that a little bit more i do find that working on the tarot card project has prevented me from really exploring a lot of ideas and other pieces Anyway, I liked where the concept of this was heading. Maybe I can play around with it in my new sketchbook. I'm trying to just draw a lot of heads just because, and I found that the angle of this one was really difficult. And I really, really tried to make this one okay, but I just wasn't getting there in the end. Rainbows are my happy place. They're my, it's my go-to. You'll see throughout this whole sketchbook, whenever I try and pad out an area, I'll just do like a rainbow. And that's like, oh, awesome. It's like, it's made it finalized and pretty now. I can move on. Oh, Teddy. I actually didn't plan out Teddy. This was like the only planning out I did for this one because I felt confident enough that I could just go straight in with this one. It was simple enough for me to explore. But this was the concept sketch for Teddy the Toad. And actually funny enough, it's almost the exact same scale as the final piece. I had been working a bit on tarot cards and just client work and just heaps of other stuff. And I just wanted to make a new character. Yeah, I feel like I haven't been doing enough like animals and characters on my own personal work a lot so I just needed to do something that was playful and fun and Teddy is a really happy cathartic piece to me it's a piece that is I don't know it really captured my mood but it was like I'm tired but it's okay like I'm tired but I'm happy here also just playing around with like some collage stuff you might remember in my last sketchbook to pad out a page I would put a lot of collage stuff and like stickers and other tickets here and there and just other memorabilia just to pad out a page I feel like I really swapped out that habit for just more drawing because I wanted to fill out a page and just finish a spread that was kind of my easy cheat way of doing it so I feel like I was kind of going back to that but I more wanted to just explore what collaging was. Behind this piece here, although I like the way it's kind of got a weird like Mona Lisa feel to it, having the background behind her, this was just a printout that I did for one of my favorite pieces from earlier this year. I was obviously not happy with this sketch. I remember being very very tired at this point and I wanted to go outside and just draw. I wasn't in a good mindset. It's kind of funny how the only things I remember in my sketchbook are like the time and place and like how I was feeling, which is kind of fun. I mean, it's kind of the point of a journal almost. So yeah, this is another waste of a page. 
All right, next. Okay, so this spread here, as you can see, you've got the hexagonal stencil again, just to pad out a couple things, some more rainbow limbs, trying to just explore some more of that. I want to do some more sketches like this and fill it out with like rainbow limbs, like across a whole spread. I remember with this piece, I started with watercolors and they're just not good for deep tones. I should just go straight in with gouache. That's why this one is just like, nah, it just doesn't work, but whatever. It's a study. I'm not gonna be too hard on myself. Better that I just tried and I can do better the next time. Don't have anything to say about this one. It's just another study. I do like the green that's on the eyes and nose. I feel like I just need to explore some more gradients in faces a little bit more. I have like these little prompts. You'll see them in all the pages. I think from now on, cause my plan was to like have a prompt on each page and explore that idea. And I didn't do that for any of them. So I don't know, I'm a bit rebellious in <laughs> that way. It's uh, I love how I gave myself these prompts and I didn't follow any of them. I remember this page, I was like feeling very rusty and I needed to get back into drawing. It's probably one of the best sketches in here for some time done with this bad boy love these yeah I, I remember like just really wanting to be like loose and quick and fast and turned out really well so I mean I'm happy with that one and these two pieces in the middle here I remember I just wanted to like play around with some mediums and do faces and just experiment for the sake of it I didn't have a goal I just wanted to play around with like what it was like to do some more collage don't think either of them are particularly successful. I think that playtime is pretty essential because for me, it gets me like in the flow of it. I feel like I'm so much more confident with bodies, holy heck. I'm just remembering earlier in 2018, I was really rusty with bodies and yada yada. And like, now I can actually, you know, do a, a foreshortened sitting body and do hands and feet. They're not perfect. I still feel like I have a way to go. Look, this is a good example of like how practice can really, really help. Like look at these three hands here. I was able to draw these three hands purely based on the sketchbook studies that I did earlier in this tour. I think I did this with some acrylic paint. I would like to do in my next sketchbook some more acrylic paint studies. I just feel like I need to be doing more acrylic painting studies for my final pieces as well as like just drawing. I feel like that's gonna help a lot more and I think that's the next stage in upping my art game. I really like the direction that this llama dude was going. Okay, you guys will definitely remember this one because this video isn't very old. I think it's only a, a three or four weeks old where I reviewed the Prima watercolor sets. If you guys have seen that video, let me know. Comment below if you've seen that one. The last couple of pages of this sketchbook, I feel like I finally am in the proper groove of it because I'm feeling like, oh man, I gotta do something good in this sketchbook. I really wish all of my spreads looked like this. I'm hoping for the next sketchbook that this is going to be my average. And I think I will now. I think I've really tackled my anxiousness of doing sketches and I've really made it a habit now. So I really hope that this spread here, I'm hoping will be my average for the next sketchbook. There was a stage where I was feeling a lull with my sketchbook because I really needed to get some new mediums. I was getting a bit tired of the mediums that I had. And as soon as I got the Prima palettes, that really lit something in me and I was excited to explore the sketchbook a lot more. This is another spread. I really like just the flow of it, the color of it, it's just fun. And again, this is where I want my average to be at. I, I find it funny that I have found like a, this like blue portrait seems to be something that's kind of reoccurring in a lot of my sketchbook. It's almost like that's my baseline. I almost feel like this, uh, this piece here minus Teddy, this piece here could almost be final piece in a way. Like I said before, I like that with sketchbooks, how they can kind of like new pieces can kind of arise that you hadn't planned, you know, just purely by putting elements together. There's like, oh, that could be a cool idea, concept for the future. At this stage, I got my little mini sticker sheets. So I have all my little characters out and about stickers available in my shop, by the way. <laughs> 
And the next page is my favorite spread in the whole sketchbook. I would love to have pages and pages and pages of what this next spread looks like. It's crazy what getting a new medium can do to you and it can really inspire you. I didn't think I was going to be that person that really depended on wanting to get a cool new medium to inspire them or was somebody who was reliant on a medium to inspire them. I love this page. I was toying with the idea of whether or not I should uh, fill up, up this little gap here, but again, finish is better than perfect. I was like, I just need to film this and move on to the next one. The way it looks is fine. I'm just gonna move on. I pad things out with my hexagon template, and then I also pad things out with a rainbow, and it's like, duh, put them together. Amazing. Ah, I'm just so chuffed with how this looks. This page is like such a breakthrough. I feel like. Like one, I've gotten to a whole new level with just studying faces and bodies and two, just through pure exploration in my sketchbook and fails and things that aren't that inspiring to me, purely through practice and also failures, I could finally come to this new stage in my sketchbook. It couldn't have come out of nowhere, you know? A lot of this stuff does require you just to keep playing and practicing and I hope that my next sketchbook can have just a lot of pages like this. We are almost at the end. As you can see, I am playing with some more red pen stuff. These studies here are for a piece that I'm currently working on. I've had a handful of people who have wanted like underwater themed pieces lately. Lots of commissions that have fallen through, which is fine because I already have too much on my plate, but I'm currently working on a commission that's underwater themed and I needed to just do some studies of some animals. I feel like I didn't do that much in this sketchbook. I need to do a lot more in the next one. I find I'm somebody who can't really get into the swing of it when I just go straight into digital. I do find that I have to draw on paper first. That's just the habits that I've got. Oh, and this book came back. Let me see if I can find this dude. I'm really, really happy with like the direction that I'm heading into. The beginning of the sketchbook compared to the end of it, I feel like a different artist. I know it's been a year <laughs> that it's taken me to fill this up because it's just been something I go back to every now and then. I feel like through practice, I've really, really grown a lot. I don't know if you guys do this, but I do a lot when I start a piece and then I realize it's like not the right scale for a page. It's just not gonna fit. I seem to do that a little with bodies. I just told myself like don't quit, you need to do more feet and legs and perspective and just fabric and just all of it. You know, I'm, I'm faces and portraits are my comfortable spot so I'm trying to push myself a lot more. I wish I could have recreated yet another one of these pages over on this side but I don't want to force it at the same time. I did a video of this one as well because I wanted to pad out my, I thought, hey, I need to finish this sketchbook. Why not record it? Mm, do I have any reflection thoughts about this spread? I like the blockiness of this. I think that's, I think I mentioned that in my other video. That's why I need to do a bug to like break out the blockiness. I feel like this illustration here, I didn't record it because I did this in a cafe. This plant feels like a breakthrough. I know it doesn't maybe look like it, but I used to find it really difficult drawing out in public. So just doing this at a cafe, drawing the plant that was in the windowsill. It was just right. I just have like happy memories with this. I want to explore that. As you guys can see in this whole sketchbook, I haven't done much botanical stuff because I find it very difficult to do. So happy and proud of these plants. I need to do a lot more plants in the future. Oh my gosh, that's it. Oh my God, that's finished. I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> I'm so happy and proud of the accomplishments I made in the sketchbook. Thank you for peering into something that's very personal and something that's really intimate to me. I often find showing the behind the scenes stuff very scary because as artists, we only want to show the world all the amazing final things and showing the stuff that isn't so amazing is I think essential for everyone to know.
that's it. It feels like something's been really accomplished and I feel like I've finally made drawing and sketching and just doing lots of studies something that's really part of my practice now and this here has been the number one reason why I feel like I've improved a lot in the last two years or so. Artists tell you to draw all the time and practice and draw every day for a reason. I can now see why. I love studying now. I, I used to be an artist who hated studying and sketching and it's really become a lifelong habit. 2018, 2019, tick, done. Before you head out, remember I do have a sketchbook tour from last year as well and lots of other sketchbook things. I'll put a playlist in the show notes. Yeah, I'll show you a little sneak peek of what my sketchbooks that I'm currently working out of look like. I'm working out of two sketchbooks now. One for mixed media and then one for pencil stuff. It's kind of crazy. Imagine like there's going to be like double the amount of sketchbook tours now. We'll catch you in the next one. See ya. Bye. <laughs>